Oh, I almost forgot about this, guys. I thought this was just a piece of cardboard in a bag. Look at this. I told you to stay away! Oh my god! <laughs> Okay guys, it is October 1st. It is officially the Halloween season. For people like you and me, it is Halloween all year. But for everybody else, it has officially begun today, October 1st. The leaves are changing. I'm drinking cider. I'm having bonfires. I'm having s'mores. I'm having donuts with my cider. We're going on hay rides. We're going to carve pumpkins. We're going to do everything Halloween. But today, I want to talk about some of the things that I have bought this year at Spirit Halloween. I always get a lot of comments from people saying, why don't you buy anything? I do buy things, I just don't film myself actually going through the line and buying them. But I thought I would share some of those things with you today, being that it is October 1st and everything is now Halloween. -y. So let's start with one of my very favorite things that I found this year, and that is the Burrito Baby. Look at this guy. This guy is, I don't even remember what his name is. It's like like Silas or something like that. But it seems to me, I, I lost the tag, but the tag says two names. Like one of them says Stevie, and then on the other side it says Silas or something like that. But I don't care. To me, it's the burrito baby. Look at this. It's a zombie baby. <laughs> Look at the face on that thing. A zombie baby with his, his uh, hands coming up out of the swaddling wrap of an actual blanket. That's really what it is. But to me, it looks like a burrito. The burrito that bites back, the zombie baby. I had to have one when I found him. He's kind of expensive, yes. He's like 42 bucks or something, which to me, I think is at least about $10 too expensive for something like this. Probably 20 to 25 bucks would be a better price, but this guy is totally awesome, so I had to buy one when I found him. If you find the elusive burrito baby in stores, let me know in the comments below where you found them. The next thing I'm gonna show you is some socks. I have bought several pair of socks from Spirit this year. One of them is the Friday the 13th socks. Look at that, it's Jason's hockey mask on there. On the back it says Jason lives. As you can see, I haven't even opened these yet. I just keep buying these things and I toss them in a drawer. And uh, I also bought the uh, the Scream socks. Oh yeah, as you see I'm wearing a Stab shirt from Scream 2. Scream 2 is the first time that Stab showed up. And, uh, and Stab is basically the movie that they made based on the Woodsboro murders. The Woodsboro murders that make up the first movie, Scream. So I love Scream so much. I've seen all four of them. I cannot wait for number five to come out. I had to get the Stab shirt. So anyways, I bought Ghostface socks too. I think those are back in the RV or in the dirty clothes or something like that. Anyway, <laughs> so I also bought Michael Myers socks. I love these things. I think they could be made a little bit better, but they're still pretty cool. There's Michael Myers' face, and then there's his, uh, his outfit, and he's holding the knife. That is pretty cool. Now, these I did take out of the package. You can see the back there. Nothing really special about the back, but his face and his body and his knife on the front of both of them. I did take these out of the package. I've already worn these once, but, uh, but that's another thing I bought. And it, these I absolutely love. This is the last pair of socks I'm gonna show you, but it, uh, I mean, I wanna say they're my one of my favorites, but they're all one of my favorites. So look at these guys, Chucky socks, yes. Look at that, look at Chucky's face right there. There's this good guy's outfit and his knife, and this is what the back looks like. Um, in the front, it's funny because I noticed that his eyes are two different colors. He has blue eyes on this one, and like, I don't know if those are like yellow eyes or what on there, on that one, but the eyes are different colors. Otherwise, they're the same. Pretty cool, I love them, I love the colors on these, I love Chucky. So, there's some more things I got, the socks. Now, one of the other things I bought, let's see, where do I even go from here? Let's do this one right here. Look at this, hugs, I got the hugs doll. How cool is that? He's got the uh, the free hugs sign on him, and if you squeeze him. Step right up, step right up, yeah. You'll be nice, very tasty, help me. 
Okay, yeah. So if you squeeze him, he says the things that Hugs the Animatronics says. I love Hugs. He's one of my favorite animatronics of all time. He's so creepy and scary, and look at that. That guy definitely needs the Aquafresh. If he needs Aquafresh, you know it's a good prop. <laughs> so, um, I haven't taken him off the card yet either, but, um, but there's Hugs. There's the back, and let's see. He was, how much was he? He was $26.99. So that's actually a pretty decent price for this. Um, compared with the Burrito Baby, that's $42. I think that the Burrito Baby should be priced about the same as Hugs. Um, so awesome though. Look at his purple hair. I love it so much I had to have it. And like I've said a million times guys, I live in my RV so I can't buy a whole bunch of like big animatronics and stuff like that. So I am glad that they have the little things like this that I can get. And I mean who knows. Stick around because I will probably end up giving all this stuff away in videos anyway. Because I really just can't keep it in my RV. But anyways, let's move on to the next thing. And that would be what seems to be pretty much everybody's favorite, Sam. I bought the Sam Sidestepper. All right, check this guy out. So cool. I love Sam. And he's got his, uh, his sucker down here, if you can see it. His hand is down now, but that's what he looks like. And when you actually take him out of the package and set him down, he will go back and forth like this as he makes the sounds and stabs you <laughs> with his sucker. So I love this. That's one of my favorite Sam items that they have in the store. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's so awesome. I love it so much. One of my other favorite Sam things is the big bouncy pillow head. It's like this big. And it's just Sam's face, but it's so soft that if you just go like this, it bounces almost like a basketball. It's so cool. So, yeah. So there's Sam. That's another thing that I picked up while I was at the store. And he was $29.99. So, again, we're still in the $20 uh, price range with these things. And I think that's, that's a pretty decent price for him. Obviously, anything lower than that would still even be better. But, you know, they got to make money in the store. So there's Sam, $29.99. And speaking of Sam, another thing that I bought this year was the Sam Pop Vinyl. Look at this, the Trick or Treat Vinyl. There's Sam, and he's got his pumpkin in there with him. Let me take a better look at this. Does he have the sucker? Hmm. I don't even see the sucker in there. Um, I don't think it's supposed to be in there. It's just Sam with the pumpkin and his sack, his Trick or Treat sack. That is a pretty cool little prop there. I love that. And I haven't seen a lot of the pop figures in the stores this year. Usually the stores are stacked with them, but I don't know. There's just, they're having that issue with getting things delivered this year. So yeah, this is uh, the vinyl figure with the sack and the, uh, the pumpkin. And I love how the pumpkin is like almost like a square shape. That's pretty cool. I love that. Um, number 1002 and this was $21.99 so I mean that's not too bad I don't collect a lot of the pop figures I would like to if I had room if I lived in a house and had a big room I could put them in I'd probably buy up a ton of them but I saw this one and I just couldn't walk away so the Sam pop vinyl figure another thing that I got guys one of the first things I bought this season you know I love ghost face here it is the ghost face fleece throw. I love this thing. I have not taken it out because I'm pretty hot on a regular basis as it is. I mean, it has to get pretty cold for me to pull out a blanket, but when it does get cold, I'm gonna have ghost face right here. I love this. I love the whole design of it. Look at that thing. So cool. I, I truly don't really understand why it says though, the icon of Halloween is ghost face. Because the, uh, the Ghostface movies, the screen movies, don't really have anything to do with Halloween. Um, I mean, it's vaguely implied that it's Halloween time when they're, uh, you know, in the movie, like in the first one at least. But um, the icon of Halloween, I mean, that would be Michael Myers for me. But nonetheless, totally awesome fleece throw. I had to have it. And this was $24.99. That was a pretty decent price for this. Um, especially with how much I love Ghostface. 
so cool. And when I unwrap it, I'm gonna keep this. <laughs> I'm definitely keeping this for myself. But when I open it up, I will show you guys in another video. Um, probably in a Saturday Night Snack and a movie when we do the Scream series. Because we're gonna do like a whole Scream marathon on a Saturday night. And I'm pulling this bad boy out for that. Okay, let me look into my bag here a minute because I have... Okay, they give me these every time you go in. It's a 20% off uh, coupon. I got a whole bunch of them. I have a whole bunch of those um, bracelets, like the silicone bracelets, because just about any time you buy something, they tell you go ahead and take a bracelet. So I have a whole bunch of those, but they're in the uh, in the RV. Now I do want to show you these, even though I didn't get them at Spirit. I actually got these at the party place in Canton, and these are little skull bracelets. Look at that. There's a whole bunch of little skulls on there making up these bracelets. I actually bought three of these. I'm not exactly sure why. I just wanted them. <laughs> they were only two bucks a piece and they're so awesome. But really, I figured I would get them and, uh, and maybe use them as, as giveaways or something, you know, when it's the off season. Because once the spirit stores close and once Halloween is over, there's no more Halloween stuff in stores, so I can't go out and film that. And I want to keep bringing you guys Halloween stuff all year long. Um, so, yeah, if I do the giveaways with this stuff, it'll definitely be, like, out outside the season after Halloween is over. But these are just, uh, you know, another one of those cool little things I picked up. Even though I got them at the party place and not Spirit Halloween, they're totally awesome. I love them. Oh, I almost forgot about this, guys. I thought this was just a piece of cardboard in a bag. Look at this. Holy crap. I love this so much. It's a big butcher knife. It's not a cleaver. When I think of a butcher knife, I think of like the big rectangle cleaver. But this kind of knife gets called a, a butcher knife all the time. And uh, it's just a huge knife, huge kitchen knife. Actually resembles a Lamson Goodnow, which is the kind of knife that Michael Myers used. Like if you look up on eBay Lamson Goodnow, you'll find the, the legit knife that they modeled Michael Myers' knife off of. And I mean, they're like four or 500 bucks if you can find a real one. Um, but yeah, look at this, it's a ghost face knife. It has ghost face's face on it. And that is just so cool, I could not pass it up. I had to buy it. And again, I figure this is one of those things that I'll end up giving away. You know, it, it's just black on the back, so maybe I'll end up like signing it in a gold or silver marker if, if whoever wins it wants me to. Um, but that will be at a later time. This was $9.99, it's 10 bucks. That's not bad at all for something that cool. I just think that is so awesome. Ghost face knife with blood running down his face. So I have one more thing I'm gonna show you guys. Let me pack this up here. I actually do have more things that I've bought, but they're in the RV. And right now I'm staying at an Airbnb and uh, the RV is in the shop getting fixed, so I don't have access to that stuff. But the last thing I wanna show you, you might remember me pointing this out in the store and it is a ghost face costume. This is the chrome edition. Look at this, look at the silver ghost face mask on that. That is so cool. They've never actually used the silver one in the movies, but this was put out originally for the 25th anniversary with the, with the chrome mask. Um, this one here is made like specifically for Spirit Halloween. Uh, but it's basically the same thing as the Fun World mask. Um, for the 25th anniversary, it actually came in a box, I think. And I honestly don't know if the mask was like soft and pliable or not. This one's hard. Take it out here and show it to you. I'm not gonna take it out of the plastic. But yeah, it's, it's like a hard plastic mask and it's just the kind that you strap on to your face. It doesn't have the whole shroud over the top. I believe that the ones that came out for the 25th anniversary actually have the shroud on top, like the hood. I think it's connected, but this one is not connected. This does come with the gloves in here. Um, and then, you know, like I said, the rest of the whole costume, and the costume has a hood on it, but the hood is just not connected to the mask like the original 25th anniversary one. So 
I love it anyway, it's totally cool. And I actually bought two of these. I bought this one because it's an adult size, and I bought one that was the kid's size. Uh, I bought the kid's size first because it was the only one I could find. And then I just happened to come across this one when I was in another Spirit Halloween, and I thought, oh, I have to have it because it's adult size. Even though I'll probably never wear it, I'll probably end up giving it away. <laughs> These go for like 200 bucks on eBay, but I'll probably give it away to you guys when I do giveaways because you're so awesome. So guys, that is pretty much it for this video. That is a good handful of things that I bought recently at Spirit Halloween. I will be going to more Spirit Halloweens, obviously. It's only October 1st. We have a whole month to do this. I'm gonna be buying a whole bunch of other stuff, so I will be having at least one or two more videos of things that I bought at Spirit Halloween. So stick around, make sure you give me a thumbs up, comment below, and you guys have been keeping me so busy on Cameo. I think I did 70 Cameos yes, over yesterday and today alone. So if you want your own personalized Cameo, I can say hi, I can say what are those, I can do a uh, happy birthday, happy Halloween, anything you want. I'll put a link below, you can uh, Book me on Cameo, it's like 10 bucks, and um, I'll say whatever you want me to say, basically. Keep it clean, of course. But uh, yeah, happy Halloween, everybody. October 1st, I'm so excited to get this Halloween started. Let's get out there to another Spirit Halloween. I told you to stay away! Oh my god! <laughs> what are those?